back to another episode of Que Pasa. I'm joined here by Lauren Falco from Destination El Paso, as always, and we are at Brave Books. If you haven't heard of this cutest little bookstore <laughs> that you'll ever find in Central El Paso, well, now you know. Uh, Lauren, tell us all about it. It's the cutest little bookshop in El Paso. That's 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 why I'm going to start <laughs> deeming it the, the the tagline of Brave Books. Um, like she said, Central El Paso. Uh, it's kind of inconspicuous. It's right off of Arizona Street, um, but it's a beautiful little shop and the owner is just, I mean, he decorated this place. It's incredible. Um, I really do think it's a hidden gem of El Paso um, and they carry some of my favorite books. They have incredible events. They have a ton of new arrivals all the time. So you can always check back and of course talk to them if there's like specific author you're looking to see. Um, but it's a it's a really cool little shop and um, I'm really excited to be here. It's, it's Yofi is the house cat. He's walking exactly. around here somewhere where he might pop up. You want to see Yofi. If Yofi's, anything, you want to come here and meet Yofi. He's, he's the book cat. They always have lots of fun events. They're all about the community and bringing the community together. What is next on their calendar? Sure, so August 10th, uh, they're gonna have a discussion about James Baldwin, who is a black author. Um, it's actually his 100th anniversary of his birthday, so that's really cool. Um, but he was an, uh, an activist, and he spoke a lot about activism, LGBTQ rights. Um, and so one of the things they're going to do is have a discussion about it. They're bringing in a professor from Ohio, I believe. Yes. And he is going to come in and talk to you about James Baldwin, about how you can apply those to your daily life, his, his theories and his concepts to your daily life. Uh, it's a free event and they're gonna have snacks and drinks and it'll just be a really fun discussion. Featuring alfresco nights all summer. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. So this is going to be the last week mm -hmm. for alfresco. Tell us what's on the lineup. Sure. So alfresco, uh, we had country night last time. Now it's rock night. It's a free event downtown at the Convention Center Plaza. Um, it happens on Friday nights at seven o'clock. <music> We love to support our local PBS station, and of course, it is back to school time this week. Most of the borderland is in school. Uh, tell us, what are they hosting? So they're doing a back to school bash. Um, they're gonna have free supplies, which is awesome, especially in the community. It's gonna be a really cool event. They're gonna have PBS Kids characters out there. Um, it's at the outlet shops on August 10th, and it's, like pretty much most of the day, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is the moment that a lot of uh, El Pasos have been waiting for Not for four years. Yes. La Nube is finally opening up. Yes, the grand opening of the new science museum, Kids Science St uh, STEAM, STEM? Yes, STEAM. 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 Uh, I always get them confused, uh, but they're gonna have some really great, like your, this is your first opportunity to go see La Nube in its full capacity. All the exhibits will be open. Um, and it'll be really fun. I'm excited. I love La Nube. I love looking at it for my work. Okay. <laughs> so I'm excited for it to be finally open and that is also happening on August 10th at 10 a.m. So well, there's another fun thing happening this mm -hmm. week, which is why we are at a bookstore, a local yes. bookstore here. Maybe you want to come celebrate. Yes, National Book Lovers Day is this week. So come support local bookstores. Come out, get your favorite book, maybe get a cup of coffee, enjoy a nice day out. Get that summer reading. <laughs> on. All right. Thank you so much, Lauren. We'll be back here, of course, for another week. But if you need any more information, you can always go ahead and visit visitelpaso.com. We'll see you next week.